Now, class, I want you to pay attention. Peterson, are you chewing gum? Take that out of your mouth at once. Disgraceful stuff. Chewing something, honestly. What's the world come to? And you, Butterfield, what are you laughing at, hmm? Would you like to share it with the class, since you find it so funny? Hmm? Buttersfield? Honestly, you're all behaving like pupils from the class one year below you. Which is secretly what us teachers tell every year group to get them to behave. But you didn't hear that from me. Ahem. Anyway, class, it's time for our lesson. Today's lesson is in basic mathematics. I think all of you have become rather disastrously ill-equipped to deal with mathematics. And so I've decided to bring in a state-of-the-art mathematics educational computer program for us to learn mathematics together. And here it is. Basic mathematics for the Atari computer system. So all of you can get the grounding in mathematics that you require. So, if I can just set this up. Uh, this won't take long, children. Just talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. Uh, let's see. Uh, press this switch. Fiddle this knob here. Setting five to the third flank. Yes. Yes, very good. Goodness sake, these newfangled computer contraptions. How are you supposed to operate these things? By George. I fear I may have to get the school technician in. Oh dear, nobody wants that. Uh, well, I think I might have worked it out. Yes, you press this button. There, now, excellent. Yes, let's play some mathematics adventures. Now let's see, uh, Bobbins Bob. What is, uh, what on earth am I looking at here? Uh, something divided by one. Uh, we appear to be able to choose the number that we are dividing by one. What, what's that? Uh, Bobbins Bob? No, Bobbins Bob, don't be ridiculous. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm a teacher, I'm an adult, and you're a child. I know everything and you don't. I know exactly what I'm doing. How dare you question me? My body has existed on planet Earth for considerably longer than yours. So shut your face and do as I tell you. Uh, choose a number between zero and nine. How about one, two, three? Three is a good number, yes. Three divided by three equals, well, what does three divided by three equal, Bobbins Bob? I believe it equals uh, nine, but no, one, yes. What? You said uh, nine? Yes, nine, of course, obvious, obviously equals nine. What? Um, uh, what on earth? I, I believe I pressed the wrong button, oh dear. Um, yes, th that was the correct button. Um, nine, nine, nine times, uh, nine times six, um, Clifford? Uh, nine times six, Clifford, were you paying attention? Hmm? And what did I say? Hmm? What did I say, Clifford? What? You, uh, no, 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 Clifford, I would not say that. I said something else, whatever it was. Um, yes. Well, uh, Clifford, can you solve the puzzle? You should be able to solve the puzzle if you've been paying attention to my mathematics lessons and not staring out the window at the birds. Hmm? Clifford? 54, you say? 54. <laughs> Foolish child. Obviously the answer is 81. <laughs> yes. What? It, it was 54? No, it can't be possible. No, you're wrong, Clifford. I'll, I'll have to... That's, that does it, Clifford. I'm going to contact Professor Brian Cox personally to ask him to confirm that my answer was correct. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, where's the school phone? Oh, blast. It's too far away. When will they upgrade these schools? Dear me. Hmm? What? I can use your, your cellular phone? Jenkins? Oh, certainly. I'll use your cellular phone. Hmm? Why are you laughing? For goodness sake. Uh, I can't keep track of you children. Yes, nine times eight is seventy-two. That's what Professor Brian Cox said. Good. I'm in a psychic communication with him, you see. Hmm, what's that? I'm not psychic. William, I know exactly what I'm doing and what I am. How dare you suggest otherwise? See, thirty-two is the answer. Ten is the answer. Yes, Brian Cox is feeding me all the answers. What's that? How on earth could Brian Cox be telekinetically feeding information to my brain? You'll understand when you're older, child. Now, nine, three times three is nine. Yes, I'm getting these puzzles jolly well, I think. Hmm, I hope you're learning something, class. This will all be examinable. This, all of this will be on the exam that you won't be facing for another ten years when you're fifteen years old. Yes. 
because that's how uh, ex the education works. Now, four times one is four. Yes, oh dear. What? You're getting a bit bored up of... You're getting a bit fed up of these, children. What the devil is wrong with you? Ooh, I scored eight out of ten. Masterful work. However, this is getting rather tiresome, if you ask me. We're going to press the reset button to choose an alternative form of mathematical puzzles. Ho ho! Hee hee! Oh, what's that, children? What's that, bees beeb? Why are you lying on the ground spasming? Get up, boy! Honestly! You're getting a seizure, you say? There's nothing wrong here. It's just a computer program to teach you mathematics. Calm yourselves. Goodness sake. Now, let's see. Let us take the advanced course, level 8. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. 8 divided by 7, Jenkins, is... 8 divided by 7 is, uh... It's, uh, 1, perhaps? 1? 1, 1? The answer is 1, 1. I see. How about 7 divided by 5? Hmm? That's, uh, 1. No, it's 1, 2. Uh... Oh, of course, this is teaching us remainders. Yes, yes. I should have perhaps read the enclosed instruction book first. Eight divided by one is eight. Three divided by two is, is one with a remainder of one. Yes, excellent. Seven divided by seven is one. Six divided by two is four. And eight divided by seven is one with remainder of one. Hmm? Speak up, Clay. Speak up, Claire. Speak up, young Claire. I can't hear your simpering, quiet little voice. Ugh, goodness sake. We haven't... I haven't... You're asking what remainders are? I haven't taught you about remainders? Look, this sort of thing is not really important. You're not actually going to need to know any of this stuff when you're older. It's all just a big scam. Uh, I mean, no. I, I, You're going to have to pay close attention, Claire. You obviously did not listen to me clearly enough. I must have taught you about remainders at some point in the last five years. Would have been a belly well waste of time otherwise, now wouldn't it? Now, let us see. Let's go on to the next problem. Yes, addition. You children need some instructions in basic addition. So, allow me to create a, a problem for you to solve. 9 plus 8, ah, uh, you, uh, 9 plus 7, whatever. You'll never solve this one, will you? Peter, come on, Peter. Yes, get, Peter, come up to the front of the class now, Peter. Don't be shy, Peter. Come to the front of the class and use the computer information system here to press the buttons. Yes, you're doing it. Good work, Peter. That was the correct answer, apparently. <clears throat> now, 9 plus 3, oh, you're getting faster than I can talk, Peter. Dear me. You'd think that you young ruffians were quite familiar with computers. I must say, this this contraption is rather newfangled for me. <laughs> Very new and uh, not old at all. It's you kids and your smartphones. Yes, you can type your text messages very quickly, can't you? Ha <laughs> ha, don't be shy, Peter. Ha <laughs> ha, don't look embarrassed. Yes, you're doing an excellent job of solving the puzzles. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you should download this application for your smartphone, if you haven't already. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, that sounds like a wonderful idea. So I'm glad I thought of it. Excellent, 9 out of 10. Good job, Peter. However, Peter, you failed to score 10 out of 10, which is most disagreeable. I don't come to this school seeking anything less than perfection. I demand absolute perfection from all my students. One minus one equals zero. Yes, two minus one equals one. Two minus two equals zero. Three minus three equals zero. Three minus one equals two. Common knowledge, I understand. Oh, I, I'm getting a message from Brian Cox. What is it? Yes, come in, Cox. Mm, yes, what's that? Well, my word! Brian Cox, I've never in all my years heard such slanderous accusations. How dare you? I'm going to hang up now. Good night. See, Brian Cox, I didn't need your help at all. I got ten out of ten, and you did not assist me in the slightest. <laughs> Honestly. That physics man thinks he's all that. Well, he's obviously got nothing on me. A proud teacher of Bottoms Bridge Academy for children. Five times nine, forty-five. Five times four is twenty. Mm -hmm. Yes, in all that, yes, in all of the ten minutes I've spent with this educational program, I finally learned how to do mental mathematics myself. Marvelous! Yes, that's right, children. All along, this was secretly me attempting to learn mathematics myself. 
You see, when you become an adult and leave school, you start to, uh, you start to drop out of these things, you know? You start to forget these basic things like mathematics. Because, you, as I said earlier, you don't really need to know any of this stuff at all, by and large, to live your life. So, it's all really just falls in through one ear and out the other. Hmm? Jessica, what did you say? What are you saying, Jessica? Why should you bother coming here for eight hours a day, for five days of every week, for the vast majority of the year? For sixteen or so years of your life? Uh... Be stop chewing that gum, Jessica. It's outrageous stuff. That's why you should come here, child, because you'll only score nine out of ten in your maths exams if you don't. So this, that's enough of your lip, children. My goodness, my goodness indeed. Well, I think we've seen about all we have to see. Time for us to continue on to the mathematical books of all. Oh, oh dear. Oh my, what's this? The, the program seems to be firing. Oh goodness me. This isn't right at all. Something's wrong with my computer. Uh, duck and cover, kids. Oh dear. Uh, uh, quick, set, someone set off the fire alarm. The thing could explode at any minute. Uh, oh my. Why did I have to bring a computer into my school? Oh dear. It's all supposed to be new and modern and safe, but my goodness, you can't trust any of this technology. Oh dear. Oh my, what the devil have I done? This game has become frightfully harder now. 47 divided by 6. <laughs> okay, children, I think we might have to solve this problem in order to stop the computer from exploding. Oh dear, don't worry, children. I've had training in this. Let's see, 46... 47 divided by 6, hmm, 47, well, 40, 42, 6 goes into 42, 7 times, the remainder of 1. What? Oh no, it doesn't! Oh, of course, how foolish of me, I was thinking wrong, dear. 74 divided by 5, well, 5 goes into 70, 14 times, I hope you're paying attention to this, children, this is good mathematics here. Remainder of fur. Yes, 79 divided by 6 is, uh, well, 76 goes into 78 13 times, and there's a remainder of 1. I think I, uh, I think I might be able to save us, children. It's not too late. 64 divided by 9. Well, 9 goes into 63 7 times, and there's a remainder of 1. So, yes, 79 divided by 4 goes 19 times, a remainder of 1. Wait. What? Oh no, I wasn't thinking again! Blast! Third, 42, the main of one. I, I hope I've solved enough problems to successfully stop the school from blowing up! Mm, six, and then uh, uh, four, uh, yes, no, oh, well, eight, yes, 69 divided by one. Stop giggling there, Perkins! 69 divided by... Stop giggling, I said! 69 divided by 1. 9, 4, 18, 87, um, uh, 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 24, and a remainder of 12. No, no, it wasn't good enough! No, no. Quick, children, slowly line up in an orderly fashion and slowly walk down the halls to the fire exit! The computer's about to... Burn.